Hello human warriors and blood sucking vampires, I'm the Sparrow's Journey and this is Nazgoth, more specifically an overview of the Reaver class from the vampire side. Digging into lore for a second, Reavers belong to the Dumahim clan. They are the descendants of the Lieutenant Duma. They are known to be deadly predators, experts in close combat, which leads them to their purpose in Nazgoth. Before getting into specifics, I want you to know that all of this was noted playing the defaults with no boots or perks. From the four known vampire classes in Nosgoth, the river is the most agile one. It can climb walls and buildings pretty fast, making him one of the hardest to hit and finish. The sentinel is perhaps the only one coming close to the river's dexterity, but those can fly. It's another league. Their basic health pool sits at 1050, together with all the vampire and human classes except the tyrant. Regarding the reaver's attack capacity, it hits for 185 white damage each time you land a successful blow. The reaver has the second worst damage per hit only above the hunter with 75. It's nearly impossible to compare it on a fair level with the humans, since their white damage comes directly from the weapon they are using. There's so many weapons into play. Still, and again, using the default weapon with the basic stats and adding the final important stat, which is attack rate, the Reaver stands as the third best damage per second class together with a scout. It achieves 266 DPS. This is all just considering the white normal damage. If you're interested in knowing how I found these numbers, please watch the video I made calculating the DPS. It should be in the description or in an annotation in this video. Now abilities. The river comes with the default pounce, shadow bomb and evasion. These are the skills you get from the start without having to spend anything at all. Besides that, you can also buy in the store Shadow Step, Sweeping Kick, Savage Pounce, Leap Attack, Shocking Haze and Haste. All are valid and all are useful, it comes down to your playstyle that you will decide with your build. For the purpose of this video however, I'm gonna stick with what you get when you first play the game. The Pounce ability. This is perhaps what distinguishes the river from all the other classes. It's one of their special abilities. It's what makes him a natural hunter. It has a short period of preparation and once it's charged, it hinders your movement speed. But once you use it and if done right, you can jump on your prey from a very long distance. Not only it does a good amount of damage, if you don't get interrupted that is, but you also incapacitate your victim for the whole duration. This is just one of the ways for the Reaver to initiate combat, if you wish to do so. Using the Pounce can however leave you very defenseless, because once you're on the ground teabagging someone, any human can come in and interrupt you. To avoid that, you should make use of your primary ability Shadow Bomb. Shadow Bomb is a grenade which once it hits the ground or a wall, it explodes into a fog cloud, leaving the humans nearly blind in a 425 radius area. The humans caught by the bomb immediately have their screen almost all black. The humans outside it can barely see through it or wherever is happening in it. A basic strategy is throwing the bomb at the humans and then pounce on one. Then comes your secondary ability, which is often for all classes your evasive maneuver. It's the evasion ability. Once you use it for 5 seconds, you automatically dodge every normal attack thrown at you. We're talking about the white damage. As for area of damage attacks, you take reduced damage. The catch is that you can't attack while the evasion is up. This makes the evasion ability what it basically means, a way of escaping a losing fight or when you for some reason need to protect yourself from enemy fire. There are several ways of playing the reaver as it happens with most classes. You have different abilities available which gives you several options. However, when you start playing Nosgoth, the reaver is essentially a hit and run guy. So you throw the shadow bomb, 
pounce on a guy leaving him with one third of his health pool and then make the choice of triggering invasion and flee or finish the guy if you're safe to do so. Another more sissy way to play it is just stay alive until the very end of an encounter and pounce on leftovers because let's face it, the river is an awesome finisher but you shouldn't play like that, it's non-ethical, please don't do it. In conclusion, rivers are fast, swift killers as opposed to let's say the tyrant which goes for a tanky task. They get straight to the point with the pounce ability, they're quick and agile which allows them to evade if things turn out bad. My name is Asparagus Journey, I hope you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe for more Nozgoth videos, I'll see you next time, bye bye, and don't suck blood too much.